Hi everyone, Ravi this side. Welcome to Engineering Adda. So today in this video we are going to discuss about Query DSL. So first of all we will try to discuss what is Query DSL and how we can implement Query DSL in a Spring Boot Elasticsearch application. So here I have created one Spring Boot application and the database or, or a search engine we are using as a Elasticsearch. Okay. So if you are not aware about the integration of Elasticsearch in Spring Boot, then there is a video on my channel. I will provide the link of that video in the description so you can watch it out. So there I have already showed you how you can integrate the Elasticsearch in your Spring Boot application and I have performed the CRUD operations there. Okay. And there also I have uh, showed couple of Elasticsearch queries. So Elasticsearch is working like a search engine. So there are lot more ranges of the queries are there for the elastic search. So here we are going to uh, implement the query DSL on the match all query. Okay. So first of all, what is query DSL? So DSL means domain specific language. Okay. So let's say elastic search has one query and that query we want to implement in the Java or in the Spring Boot application uh, in the form of API. So how we can do that? So using DSL, we can do that. Okay. So that is what we are going to do. So here uh, we are going to implement the match all query of the elastic search. Okay. So before uh, going there, let me try to explain you uh, what application I have developed in the previous video and how I have integrated the elastic search in the Spring Boot application. So let me try to go there. So here you can see this is the application that we have developed in the previous video or in the video where I have uh, integrated the elastic search in the Spring Boot application. So we have created entities like product. We have the repository product repository and we have the product service here. And finally we have the product controller which has the APIs. Okay. So here you can see I have uh, developed two APIs which is find all and the insert. And coming to the application properties file, I have provided the cluster name and the cluster node. So our elastic search is up locally on the port number 9200. Okay. So coming here, uh, I already have made the elastic search up locally. Okay. So this is uh, the terminal for the elastic search. How you have to make your elastic search up locally and how you can install elastic search and configure those things on your Windows machine. I already have discussed in one of my videos. Okay. So there you can watch it out and try to install it. So I have the elastic search up. I have this application ready where uh, we have implemented the CRUD operation using the elastic search as a database or just search engine. So those things we have already developed. Now in this video, what we are going to do, we are going to discuss about the query DSL and how to implement the query DSL where I'm going to use the match all query in this video. Okay. So let's get started for that. So uh, first of all, let me try to brief you about the entities and the repository and then services. And then after that, I will try to go for the implementation of the query DSL. So here I have created this entity and this entity has the, uh, let's say five attributes, ID name, description, quantity, and the price and the repository we have extended from the elastic search repository which has two argument. One is the entity and second is the ID type of the entity. So entity have the ID and its return type is integer. So that is why we have provided it here. Now coming to the product service, uh, we have created this get products, insert product, update and delete product. And finally we have uh, in the product controller, we have implemented two APIs, which is finding all the product from the DB or from the elastic search. And second is to insert the uh, product related record in the elastic search. Okay. So these are the things we are doing here. Now let me try to make this application up and uh, let me try to. So just wait for a few seconds. I will try to hit uh, this find all API and try to show you what all the records we have. Okay. So when this application is up, we have integrated the elastic search here. So you can see uh, there is a logs coming, which is giving us the URL for the elastic search. Okay. So our elastic search is up locally on the port number 9200 and slash product is a 
index that we have created so index is similar to the table okay so in the elastic search terms we try to call the table as an index so if you go to the product entity here you can see uh, I have uh, created the index and the index name is products okay so that it is coming here if we click on this link uh, you can see this is giving you the details of the index that you have created okay now our application is up and I will just try to hit this uh, find all API so that I can show you what all the products I have inserted in the index products okay now let me try to go to the postman and let me try to hit this find all API so just right click on it sorry just enter the send button and then you can see uh, this is these are the contents we have in the products index so we have four records okay so we have the id1 as a mobile id3 as a charger id2 as a laptop and id12 as a tablet so these four products we have in our index products okay so and these are some additional uh, things coming from the elastic search so this is about the uh, application that we have developed and how it is integrated with the elastic search now let me try to show you something so if you'll go there uh, our elastic search is up on the port number 9200 right and if you'll go to the underscore search and uh, let me try to show you what all things it has so if you'll click or if you'll try to hit this api you will find all the records or the indexes that are there in the elastic search so in my elastic search i have inserted one more index and that index is containing the customer information okay so basically i have two indexed one is products and second is uh, customer information index okay so let me try to go down and here you can see the total hit value are six so if you'll go down you can see in the hit i have one index called abc and uh, if you'll go down you can see uh, this class name for this index is customer and it has one record which is having the id as one triple two and the first name last name and the age of the customer similarly i have the second record which has the id triple two and the first name last name and the age and then the next index is products okay if you'll go down you will find all the four products that has inserted in the product index okay you can see the see those things here so this is uh, like under this api you can find all the indexes all the records that are there in your elastic search now if you will try to uh, run this query which is a elastic search query on this underscore search api then you will find all those details here as well so if, if you will click on it you can see all those six records are coming here uh, with the two different indices okay so if you go down you can find all those things so this is what i'm going to implement in the spring boot application so without hitting this api i will try to create one spring boot api that uh, will try to hit that api and get all these records so that thing we are going to do here and uh, yeah let me try to go there to the application okay so yeah we are good now what i'm going to do i'm just going to create one uh, elastic search utility class where i will try to create the query okay and then that query we are going to pass in the elastic search search method so that when we are passing that query to the elastic search method it will go to the elastic search and find out all the document according to that query and then return us so those things we are going to develop here okay so uh, yeah so i already have showed you that we are going to uh, implement this query okay so let me try to go there again to the intellij and here let me try to create one util package okay so just create util right click on it and just create one elastic search util okay and uh, here we can create the elastic search query 
okay so how we can create the elastic search query so there are a couple of uh, like methods we need to create which will be returning the elastic search query so here we are going to implement the match all query right so we are going to create one method which will be returning the match all query for the elastic search so how we can do that so let me try to create the method first so public static and uh, let's say the return type for the method is match all query and uh, let's say the name of the method is match all query okay we are not passing any argument here okay so this is the method that we have created now we need to build a match all query okay so how we can do that so let me try to create one variable and uh, import this from the lombok and let's say the variable name is match all query match all query okay and we have to build a match all query here so new match all query dot builder good now we need to uh, return this match all from here okay so just match all query dot build so this method will try to create one match all newly match all query and we are building it and then returning it simply okay now what i'm going to do we are we cannot uh, like i'm not aware if we can pass this match all query to the elastic search method or not but the standard way of doing is we need to call this match all query in a query supplier okay and that method will be returning a query supplier and then that query supplier we can pass to the elastic search search method okay so let me try to create one method which is returning the query supplier and then we have to call this match all query inside that method so let me try to do that public static and uh, it is a supplier which is coming from the functional interface of uh, java 8 and its uh, type would be query which is coming from the you can see it is coming from elastic search so just import the supplier which is coming from the util okay and let's say the method name is supplier okay now what we need to do we need to supply like what what is the function of supplier if you are remember if you are aware that the supplier function is supplying a method or supplying a value automatically okay on its own so that is the purpose of supplier so that is why we are creating one supplier which is supplying the query to us and that query we need to pass to the search method of the elastic search so let me try to do that query and let's say its name is supplier and here it is supplying one query to us which is a match all query so query dot off and here we can call the match all query so q dot match all and in the match all we can pass the method that is returning the match all query so copy this method paste it here and we are good now what we need to do we need to simply return the supplier from this method so return supplier okay so we are good so let me try to explain you again so this method is creating a match all query so if you'll go there to the postman this is the query that we are running okay and this is the query that we are going to implement in the java spring boot application so this query is uh, returning all the matches from the elastic search okay so this query we are going to implement as a query dsl so if you'll come here this method is doing the same thing it is creating a new match all query and building it and returning it now this method the supplier method it is supplying a query to us and that query need to be passed to the search method of the elastic search so this supplier query is no, doing nothing it is mainly supplying a query on its own and that query is a match all query so we are good now now let me try to create a service here so in the service you can right click on it and create a elastic search service so let's say it is elastic search service okay 
just you need to annotate this class with the at the rate service so that it's been can be created and up, assigned to the application code test so we are good now and uh, now we need to call the search method of the elastic search so how we can call that so we need in order to call that search method we need to uh, use the elastic search client okay so we need to auto wire that here so private elastic search client and its reference you need to pass or you need to provide here so we are good now let me try to create that method here which will be uh, which will be calling the search and in the search we are going to pass the query or the supplier query that we have created so let me try to do that okay so let's say the method name is public and its return type should be as of now we are keeping it as a search response okay search response and let's say its type is map so we need to import the map here and let's say the method name is match all service match all service okay now what we need to do with the help of the uh, this reference okay we need to call the search method so just call it search and in the search we need to provide the supplier query so let me try to create one reference for the supplier query okay and with the help of the method that we have created in the elastic search util will call that supplier query and store it in the reference here so just supplier query make sure that this query is coming from the elastic search okay now let me try to import the supplier which is coming from the util function and let's say its name is supplier okay equal to what is the method that we have created here it is supplier method so copy this and come here to the search service and using the class name elastic search util we can call this supplier method right so the supplier method is returning a supplier query and that is what uh, we are storing it here in the reference okay and we need to pass this in the search okay so let me try to do that so s dot query and in the query we need to pass the supplier dot get okay so we are getting the query extracting out from the supplier and we are putting it in the query so we are good now we need to pass here the class name so the return type for this uh, search would be search response and the argument is map right so we need to provide the map dot class here okay so we are good and now let me try to store this in a reference which is of search response type so map search response equal to this so we are good now and now what we can do uh, if you want to see how our query is looking like then you can uh, print it out here so let me try to print it for you so that when we are going to hit the api uh, we can see that query as well okay so it's out and let's say the elastic search query is something like supplier dot get so we the query is in supplier we are getting it and we are converting that query to the two string and we are printing it and what we can do we can return this response from this method so just return the search response so we are good now let me try to see why we are getting this error so we need to throw some exception here okay so either you can do a try catch or throw the exception so let me try to throw it so we are good so let me try to again explain you so coming to the elastic search util we have created this match all query method which is uh, creating a match all query for us we are wrapping up that query in the supplier and then here in the elastic search service we are calling this supplier method from the elastic search util and storing it in, 
its value in the supplier reference which is of supplier query and then we are passing this in the form of query to the elastic search search method and we are getting the response and we are logging the query and then we are returning the response out of here and now let me try to go to the product controller and try creating one api here okay so let me try to copy this and paste it down and let's say the api name is match all okay and uh, let's say the method name is match all and uh, what we need to do we need to auto wire the elastic search service in the controller okay how we have auto wire the product service so let me try to do that at the rate auto wire private elastic search service Okay, so we have auto wired it, copy this reference and go to the method, paste it here. And what is the method inside the Elasticsearch service? It was match all service. So just call it and then its return type is search response. So let me try to create the method properly. So it is search response of map type and we are calling it and returning it so what is the okay so we need to throw this this exception from here so you can do it okay so we are good now so let me try to uh, hit this endpoint okay so let me try to rerun this application and try hitting the endpoint and show you so just wait for a few seconds and uh, yeah our application is up okay so our application is up on the port number 8080 and the class level mapping for this controller is apis and if you are going to hit this gate mapping which is match all they need to put the additional mapping which is match all so let me try to go to the postman and here i have already created it so you can see our application is up on the port number 8080 and the class level mapping is apis and then we need to Put the match all so just hit enter and yeah you can see we are not getting anything but if you'll go to the spring boot application here in the logs you can see we are logging the query so our query is coming which is a match all query that means we are able to that means we are able to create the query properly and we have passed the query to the Elasticsearch service here okay so the query is good now why we are not getting the response okay so let me try to go to the product controller here you can see our return type is map search response okay so the search response is containing all the data all the hits data from the elastic search right but it is not coming uh, in the response so what we can do we can uh, convert this to the string and try to return it from here okay so let me try to do it so let's say we are storing this in a search response of map type and let's say it's a references search response and now let me try to log it here for the search response and uh, let's say it's hits and then to a string so whatever things are coming in the search response we are going for the hits and then converting that to the to string and we are printing it out okay and as of now let me try to return only the search response from here and then try to see what it is printing okay so let me try to rerun this application and uh, yeah okay so our application is up now let me go to the postman and try hitting this api so go to the intellij and here you can see we are able to get the hits okay and in the hit what we have let me try to copy you and then show you so let me try to open the notepad here okay so this is the response that we are getting 
okay so if you will observe it then you can see we have the index abc two times and its record is also there right if you'll go there in the source you can see the uh, records related to the particular index okay so if you're going for the index abc you can see in the source uh, this details related to the customer information is there and we have the two records for the index abc and those two you can see here you can see this first one and this is the second one right similarly if you'll go for the index uh, products let me try to show you if you'll go for the index product here is the source and in the source you can see all those four uh, records for the product this is one this is second similarly fill first for the third one and this is the fourth one right so we have all the records coming in this match all query dsl right now let me try to go to the IntelliJ and uh, yeah so these things are coming properly so our uh, earlier what i have showed you i have showed you that we are going to perform the match all query in the spring boot uh, like we are going to convert this match all query which is coming from the elastic search in the java spring boot apis so that we did and its response is uh, coming as expected so you can see this is the api which is coming from the elastic search if we'll run this match all query we are getting these results here okay if you'll go if you'll compare the hits from this uh, elastic search query it is same as the hits that we are getting from the api or the spring boot api that we have created you can see these two indexes are coming and its records are coming so it is coming properly now let me try to uh, what you can do you can uh, return the string from this method and you can simply return this response search response dot hits dot hits dot to string okay and uh, now let me try to run the application again so this time you will get the response in the form of a string and those things is coming as a response here so let me try to yeah our application is up go to the postman and this is the match all api okay now just hit enter and this time you can see the response is coming as a string so this is how you can implement the query dsl in the spring boot api's form okay so what we were having we were having the match all query and we were running those match all query in the elastic search we are getting the results and those results we can get from the apis that we have developed in the spring boot application that means we have converted this elastic search query in the domain specific language that means java or the spring boot so this is about the query dsl okay now let's say uh, this is like this query dsl this match all uh, query is performing the operation on whole elastic search so we are uh, getting these two indexes and its records what if you want to uh, get only the records from the products okay from the products index or from the index abc so how you can implement it that thing also i will cover in the separate video and if you want uh, let me try to go to the intellij and here we are just simply uh, getting the response and we are uh, taking out the hits and then we are converting it in the two string but here you can uh, separately create a dto and you can carve out the response from the search response and map this to the dto okay so let's say you want to carve out the response from the uh, product index okay so you can create a dto related to the product and then you can map those result which is coming in the search response to the dto that you have created for the product so those things you can uh, do yourself so in the coming video i am going to implement the query which is matching out 
all the products from the product index that we have created okay so those things we are going to do in the coming videos so let me try to uh, give you a brief what i'm going to develop in the coming videos so let me try to go there to the search and uh, sorry to the find all and here you can see in the find all api if you hit this you can see these are the contents right we have the products records from the product index that we have created so we have four products records inserted in the products index and we are getting it when we are hitting this api so same same things how we can uh, do in the query dsl i am going to do for yourself okay so with the help of match all query we are going to find out all the records for a particular indices that we have created so that thing i'm going to implement okay in the coming videos so this is about the video if you like the video please hit the like button and please subscribe the channel for more such content thanks